Santa's Bag of Magic Written by Benny's Van Buskirk Addison waited in line patiently for her chance to see Santa. Today was the day that she had been anticipating for weeks. She knew exactly what to ask Santa for this year. The last two years she sat on Santa's lap, she had asked for things she really wanted, last year a bike, the year before a doll, and she did get those things from Santa. Now that she was five, she knew exactly the right thing to ask for. After waiting forever, it was finally her turn. Now that she was older, she felt a little awkward climbing up to sit on Santa's lap. She knew Santa was real, didn't she? If he was real, surely, he would be able to grant her wish this year. Santa told her he was proud of her for trying her best to be a good girl all year. Was she a good girl? She thought. Yes, for the most part she was good. Of course, there were those times when she fought with Brother Quinn and Sister Hallie and called them names. Sometimes she argued with her mom, but yes she was a good girl, so certainly he would give her what she asked for this year. Why did Santa seem so uncertain about giving her what she wanted so badly for Christmas this year? He was Santa after all. He can do anything he wants to do. Can't he? If she had a bag like Santa's, she could get whatever she wanted all year long. All she would have to do is use the magic in it and pull out anything she wanted. Christmas Eve seemed to take longer than usual to come this year. Addison was so excited and nervous. Santa would surely give her one thing that she wanted for Christmas. After reading the story of Jesus Christ's birth in the Bible, Quinn and Hallie opened their Christmas Eve presents. She knew what was in those brightly colored boxes, pajamas and a book. It was the same thing that Mom and Dad got them every year. Mom says it is a Christmas tradition. She opened her package, pajamas just like her baby sister's, Uck. Mom could at least get her a different pajamas. Why did she always insist on dressing her like the baby? She was not a baby. She was determined to stay awake and secretly listen for Santa to come. She had caught a glimpse of him the Christmas she was three. That is how she knew he was real even though some of her friends told her Santa was just an imaginary person. She woke up to the sun streaming through her window. Oh no. She hollered out. She had fallen asleep. Last time she had looked at the clock it was 11.47. Addison was so mad at herself. How could she have fallen asleep on such an important night? She hopped down from the top bunk and ran down the hall to see if her bag of magic was waiting under the Christmas tree. She could see the big dump truck her brother Quinn had asked Santa for and the stroller her little sister Hallie had wanted. Where was it? Where was the bag of magic she had asked Santa for? She ran over to the tree to take a closer look. Under a package she saw a red string poking out she gave it a tug. It was a small red velvet bag that looked just like the big one Santa used. Addison expected the bag to be big like Santa's bag. How was she going to pull awesome toys all year long out of such a small bag? There was a note attached to the bag that read, Dear Addison. I have given your request for a bag of magic a lot of prayer and thought. I always try very hard to give all good girls and boys what they want for Christmas. I have looked back on my life and thought how it was that I became Santa. I realized that it was years of hard work, years of caring for the needs of others, years of selfless service. It is only because I am willing to give, that the bag of magic even works. I cannot be selfish with its use, or it just doesn't work, it is empty. It only ever works if I am trying my best to do good, kind, and unselfish things. Inside this little bag you will find all the virtues that I've tried hard to do every day throughout my years. Yes, Santa had to be a good boy too. I know this is not the bag of magic you expected. I promise you though, if you work hard to do all the things that are on the tokens in this bag, you'll find that all you have the magic of your own to use to make others happy. It is through good, kind, and unselfish service that we find true happiness. My whole life is about doing kind things for others, that is why I am known as the jolliest man alive. Love Santa. P.S. As you practice these 24 virtues, you will be able to give great understanding and wisdom, and yes, magic. P.S.S. I have included a touch of magic to help you achieve magic of your own throughout the year. Oh boy. Addison thought Santa's right, this is not what I was expecting. 
This just seems like work. I guess I should have asked for another new bike. At least I would have been able to go out and enjoy myself. She reluctantly opened the bag and inside there were little tokens with words on them. So, one by one she pulled them out and read them. Accountability, caring, charity, compassion, courtesy, dependability, discipline, empathy, faith, forgiveness, generosity, gratitude, honesty, industry, kindness, love, obedience, perseverance, reliability, righteousness, selflessness, service, steadfastness, thankfulness. Some of the words she knew, some she couldn't quite make out. She knew words like love and kindness, but the long word that started with a P? She surely had never seen that before. Wow! She had really gotten herself into a pickle this time. All she wanted was to have magic like Santa. How was she ever going to do all the things written on these tokens? Santa said he had included a touch of his magic in the bag. She did feel happier today. She really wanted to give it a try. So, she decided that she would do just that try each day to do the thing that Santa said would help her gain her own magic. Each day she tried to do something different. One day she showed kindness to her brother by sharing her special art pens with him. The next day she worked harder on her schoolwork than she ever had before. The day after that she was obedient when her mom said no more fruit snacks before dinner, even though she totally could have snuck one more, but she didn't. As the days turned into weeks, and the months came and went, she slowly realized that she did feel happier. She realized that her parents trusted her more, and that her brother and sister were more not such a bother to her, she actually had fun with them. She got more compliments at school because she worked so hard and was kind to others. The magic wasn't the kind of magic she was expecting, but it was magic, she could feel the change that Santa had promised her, and for that she was happy. Parents, you can use this book and tokens in the magic bag, as 24 days of Christmas, lessons for you family or throughout the year, to teach your children about the virtues that create our very own magic. Accountability The quality or state of being accountable, especially an obligation or willingness to accept responsibility or to account for one's actions. Caring To give care, concern for another person. Charity Generosity and helpfulness especially toward the needy or suffering, aid given to those in need. Compassion Sympathetic awareness of others' distress, together with a desire to alleviate it. Courtesy Polite, respectful, or considerate behavior mindful of other people. Dependability Reliable, worthy of reliance or trust. Discipline the trait of being well-behaved and under control. Empathy Identification with an understanding of another's situation, feelings, and motives. Faith Complete confidence in a person, plan, or set of beliefs. Forgiveness The cease to feel angry or bitter toward a person or about an offense. Generosity Giving or ready to give freely, free from meanness or prejudice. Gratitude. Being thankful. Honesty. Being truthful. Industry. Diligent, hardworking. Kindness. Friendly, helpful, well-meaning. Love. A deep, tender feeling of affection and solicitude toward a person, such as that arising from kinship. Obedience Willingness to obey, listen to parents. Perseverance Being persistent, refusing to stop despite failures, delays, and difficulties. Reliability Can be trusted to do something. Righteousness Adhering to moral principles, Holiness Selflessness The quality of unselfish concern for the welfare of others Service Work done by one person or group that benefits another Steadfastness Firm, resolute, determinedly unwavering Thankfulness Warm, friendly feeling of gratitude By living these virtues, 
we can all gain understanding and wisdom and, yes, our own special magic. Understanding, comprehension, assimilation of knowledge. Wisdom, the trait of utilizing knowledge and experience with common sense and insight. Bindi's Van Buskirk obtained a love for reading Christmas books to her children during the Christmas season. She started collecting Christmas books and created a nightly routine of reading, especially to her disabled daughter, Emily. Bindi's has a love of service for her family, church, and community. One of her treasured uses of time is spending quality time with her grandchildren. It was during one of these times that this story developed in a real event with her granddaughter, Addison. Bindi's raised seven children with her husband, Bill, that currently have 11 grandchildren. The developer of this video adaptation is is her very proud father, 